What's going on guys? I hope all you are doing. Welcome to the second tutorial on the series of making or learning a canvas, the HTML5 canvas. In the last one, we've covered drawing a simple, setting up the environments we're going to work on, all the projects using Webpack and Node.js and all the other things to render out this simple rectangular here. For this one, or the, this tutorials, we're going to cover uh, the basic shapes available in, under the canvas API. So what we can, what we can use using the, or what we can actually render using the canvas API. So we're going to cover this. If you haven't watched the last one, make sure to go ahead and watch it for setting up the environment that you need to render at any shape or that we're going to do in the next video tutorials. So make sure to watch them before continuing the series, because this is really matters for you to understand what we're actually doing and what we're actually going to do. So in the last show or for the series, for the sake of series, what we're going to reach out is this crazy canvas thing. So we're going to render out a text using uh, a bunch of circles, drawing or filling the whole text. Any text you put in here, you can put anything. And when you hover them, you're going to be releasing these balls. They're going to start roaming over the page, just flying in. So whenever we just hover up over a circle, they all gonna fly in and get out of the actual original position. But as soon as when we click on the space bar on our keyboard key, like, let's see. So when we click on the space, all of them gonna get back into the original place and reform the actual text. So clicking the space, all of them gonna get into the original space or the text shape and reform the text. It's a very nice effect as you can see and also it changes the color up and when you click or when you hover them all of them gonna take a random color and space gonna get them back in there. Also as you might have noticed the collision with the window side in here all of them gonna collide with this so to make sure they are not running out of the space so you don't lose all the circles so you can get them back into the, for reforming the actual text so this is looking really really nice thing for for us so what we can this the last thing we're going to achieve on the tutorial series but for this one we are going to talk about the basics things in here so make sure to set up the projects as i've said and we have just run, rendered the rectangle and that method rectangle 5 means the X position, the other one makes the, the Y, here the width and here the height. So when you call, call the stroke method, this is gonna put uh, an outside or a border stroke on our shape. So what we can do to fill the shape is use the fill method. As simple as that, this is gonna fill out the, the shape for us as you can see. So if you wanna fill it or strokes, you can use both of these methods. So now you might be wondering how to change the style of this. So you, you're seeing everything here in black. So let's say you want to make it red or take a random color or something. How you can change that? It's actually very simple. Call the context and whenever, make sure like if you are using a fill in here to call the fill style uh, variable in here and assign a style in here. Let's say I'm going to put in here a yellow style. I don't know why I like yellow. Make sure to use the fill and when you put the fill you make sure or we are or canvas assume that you're going to fill out the rectangle with the or call the fill method. Now it changes the color simple as that. Let's say you want to like render out another one like render um, a new rectangle in here just put it here make sure to put the begin path before rendering any new shape and I don't know add in here like a 50 position 50 position and making this just a hundred uh, okay this is gonna take a red thing I'm gonna fill this out refresh we get another one or rendered up on this one so as simple as that is how you can if you don't close or begin path is gonna have real really really weird problem so make sure to begin path before rendering or trying to render any new shape now we've covered up the rectangle what about the circles the circles is actually actually very simple so um, you can call also the context begin path to make sure that we are beginning uh, this is gonna be called up in any uh, I don't know render you want to render like shape so make sure to call the begin path before that so make sure to call the context arc and the arc method or the arc function gonna render out an arc i don't know how to call this but 
you're gonna take the board or you get the border of the circle so you put the position of this I'm gonna just put about here about 20 and the Y position 20 and for the radius I'm gonna put about a 50 this is quite a large circle and for the start angle so from where we're gonna start drawing so if you are familiar with the uh, like the circle in mathematics and geometric and all of these kind of things it makes sure like when we start drawing a circle, we're gonna start from the zeroth index. So when we use radians, it's gonna be our zero. And we're gonna just draw all the circle till the uh, 2p. So to de demonstrate this actually, let me just gonna open up um, Mr. She for something, I have this. Okay, this is gonna like kind of a drawing software to illustrate this very simple. So as you can see, when we draw a circle, when we draw, it's not a circle. This is, I don't think this is gonna be a circle, sorry this. But for the circle, we're gonna start from the zero radians, and let me just put R. I don't know how to draw using a mouse or to write using a mouse actually. So we're gonna just start drawing, and this one actually gonna be pi in radians, and the other one gonna be two pi. So we wanna do from zero radians to two pi to get a full circle. So if you wanna get like a half of a circle or a quarter of a circle, you can you can get the actual from the zero into the pi or pi divided by two or something like this. So make sure to check out Google for this to reference that to so know. Okay, as I've said, this is gonna be the start angle. So we're gonna start from zero and the end angle is two pi. Two pi, you can use the math library and pi times two assembles this and for the anti-clockwise so we can draw this uh, like anti-clockwise or a clockwise just gonna put this false because this doesn't really matter we are drawing a full circle anyway now for the context to draw the actual stroke we're gonna put in here stroke style uh, the same as the fill style here we're gonna put a red and the context gonna make sure to call the stroke because to making the stroke style apply changes in here and now as soon as we refresh the page we should see a circle let me change this position to 200 in here and about I don't know about 18 here okay as you can see this is a full circle now for the filled circle we can also get the fill method in here simple as that is gonna fill the circle for us so this is how simple it is to render out the circle now the circle has been covered now what about i want to draw a couple of like a custom shape let's say a heart let's say i don't know a sheep you can draw that using the lines so you connect a couple of lines together to get a specific shape you want from from the positions of course because this is going to be very hard for the complex shape but let's cover this very quickly of course we're going to get the begin path i mean just not like get rid of that and I'm gonna use the context move line or move to actually have one in here this deck for the triangle I've saved the coordinates for the triangle but let me just show you that move to let's say uh, about 20 50 you put the X and Y positions and the context like line to and whenever you call line to it gonna create a new line or connects the connect from the previous line into the new one line so you put I don't know maybe about 50 to 300 and the context stroke to render out the actual stroke and use the fill method to render out the fill of that so as you can see we get a horizontal line or vertical line in here so line 2 I don't know from 300 to 500 well actually this is like the okay no problem as you can see we get a weird shape in here but you get the point this is how you can use shape line to you can assert a new line to there's also a lot of other things that we're not gonna cover in here a complex one actually like the cubic bizarre things and you're gonna check this out you can check them there's an MDN or the Mozilla developers developers network you can check or google this out it gonna gives you a tons and tons of methods and how to use them so make sure to to bit or to like level up the challenge and make sure to create a really complex shape in here so 
this was about that this was what the line the last thing we need to cover is the text so you can also render out text using the canvas so to do that it's just calling the um, you put the text style or the text font to make sure to specify that I'm gonna put the doc font as I'm gonna put it about 30 pixels and I'm gonna use uh, sans serif okay use any font family here also you can import font families and use them a custom font families I mean and you put context font style or text style I believe uh, I don't know I haven't worked with text for quite a long time so let me just put this red and the context fill text and this method takes the string or the actual text you want to render out and like hello world pretty simple and the x number the x position and the y position we're gonna put about i don't know 280 so this should do the text for us as you can see hello world with a custom or from without canvas as simple as that this is not applying the style the text style i don't know maybe you gonna put the fill style in here so let's test this back again yeah you should put the fill style to get the text or to decorate or style the text so put the fill style and fill tags as simple as that gonna work for you so this was about the text that you can render you can also as i've said render loads of loads of other things and functions and stuff using the canvas but this was the basic things about the canvas the text the arc and the rectangular and all of this kind of stuff so for the lines if you want to just do like a triangle in here so okay this is gonna do a triangle for us so let me just very simply pull call the fill and this is gonna fill a triangle the value the start and the end this doesn't matter for us okay now we should refresh this and we get like a left-handed error in here but we get the shape as okay you've got the point of the lines in here it's very simple to use i've said and very efficient if you want to do a complex shape so this was it for this tutorial just a simple or a basic i don't know overview of what we're going to do we are pretty much going to use the arc for the circus because we're gonna draw all of the circus in here and we're gonna just check for the collision so maybe a couple of other tutorials to reach out this and because i'm gonna break this into like a little bit or short tutorials for making it looks um, way much more nicer than that and a little bit more simpler for covering the, all the collisions and how to draw all these text using the circles and stuff it's gonna be very simple but you gonna need to figure out this in the next video tutorial so thank you guys for watching hope you really enjoyed i will see you in the next video tutorial stay tuned